Hi everyone, last week would have been my dad's 70th birthday, so I thought this week I'd do a bit of a tribute to what I learned from him over the years and why I think you can't beat the old school. My dad, he started quite early plastering with his dad. He used to go and run line with him when he was younger. And then I think his dad told him to go and find an easier job because plastering is a very physically demanding job. But my dad did go off and do a few things. He was a welder for a bit and he was working as a postman as well. But I remember when my dad was working as a postman, he was working as a plasterer in the afternoon. So he'd start early and then he'd go work in plaster in the afternoon. And I think after a time, basically his dad just said, just become a plasterer. And and that's how he started off. My dad was just drawn to plastering. I think it's just something in the genes. It's a bit like me. When I first started plastering, I wasn't that fast. I was trying to become a musician or a web designer. I think I wanted to be a lot more things before I wanted to be a plasterer, but I just sort of fell into plastering and then it just sort of gets hold of you and you don't really stop loving it, really. Well, you do stop loving it, actually, yeah. You do. It's a bit of a love-hate relationship, plastering, if you ask me. But I think that's more of a self-employed thing. So, um... so my dad always used to say a plasterer's apprenticeship was about eight years. And that's because plastering used to have a lot more aspects to it. Um, back in the day, my dad used to say it was from doing floors to even doing the roofs. There was a lot to learn when you first started to become a plasterer. I think it just goes to show what ha you had to know back in the day. And it definitely makes you a better plasterer knowing how everything works. If you know how a job goes from start to beginning, then you're going to know what's needed of you. So one of the most important things my dad taught me about plastering was you're only as good as your last job. So that means you can do 99 great jobs. You do one, that's the one that will get remembered. So you've really got to keep your standards up to a high level. So my dad would never shy away from any type of job, whether it be big, small, little, or grand like this one. The big thing with being old school is work ethic. My dad was definitely a leader by example. He wasn't one who would sit back and boss people around. My dad was old school in the fact that he would be the one doing all the work and he would be the one putting in all the hours. My dad was a grafter. Yeah, he, and he was fast as well, my dad, he was. Uh, but he had to be fast because that's how you made your money back in the day. You've got to have a good balance. Um, my dad was all work and, you know, he would work six days a week and he'd work nights pricing and he was hard working, but it was the detrimental to his work-life balance, really. I think that's one thing I've definitely learned is that I, I really do value my time more than anything nowadays. Plastering is hard on the body. So if there is a way of you making it easier, you should definitely look into it. One thing I will say is that my dad would always die on his sword. So if anything went wrong, my dad would make sure that he put it right. It's just a great way of actually treating your business. It can cost you money, obviously, but you've got to try and keep everyone happy. And then if your customers are happy, then the work's always going to be there. One thing my dad would always do is he would always be looking for the latest thing. So whether it be a new finish, like back in the day when K-Rend was first introduced, my dad was one of the first to give it a go. And I think this is a really important thing to do because you've always got to be improving because you're always learning when you're plastering. There's always something new that's going on and the products do change. Like skim has changed dramatically over the years. I mean, it takes three hours now and it never used to take that long. It used to be three hits in a day and you know you'd still be home at a decent time whereas nowadays you know you're lucky to get two and to have an early finish so a lot of things have changed since my dad first started and obviously a lot of the finishes have changed as well so evolution is definitely key when it comes to plastering so i could tell you hundreds of stories about my dad and i probably will over the next few years on my channel but 
all I can say is that I am extremely grateful that I managed to work with my dad. Working with family is very difficult. It can go one of two ways. It can either go great or it can go awful the other way. And working with family is very difficult. For me, I didn't really get to know my dad until I started working with him. And I think when you're growing up and you're playing and you're having fun, you don't realize how hard people work. And I think that's one thing that brought me closer with my dad is that I learned how hard he had to work just to get through the day-to-day -day grind. And yeah, it's definitely something that I be become more and more grateful as I've got older and obviously had a family. And yeah, I'm just very grateful and proud of what my dad achieved and how he had a great reputation. This video is being quite a nice one to make for me because it's just a bit of reminiscing. So if you do like these videos, please like and subscribe. I drop them every Tuesday. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got any stories you wanna share on the comments about how you've learnt and what you've learnt from the old school, leave them below. But yeah, thanks guys. I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers guys, bye. Thank you.